Hello, my name is Mr. Barberman. What's your name? Hi, that's a great name. I'm so glad that you joined me today for fun and learning about barbering. Now you might be scratching your head thinking, what is barbering? That's such a strange word. Well, a barber is someone that cuts hair. If your mommy or daddy ever took you to a place to get your hair cut, the person cutting your hair is called a barber. And barbers work with lots of cool tools and they work in really cool spaces. And guess what? They have really cool chairs. And we're gonna look at all of those things today. But before we do, I wanna teach you how to spell barber. Barber is spelled B-A-R-B-E-R. Barber. Can you try that with me? B-A-R-B-E-R. -E yeah! B-A-R-B-E-R. B-A-R-B-E-R. -E Very good! And I want you guys to remember that because at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a chance to try to spell it yourself. All right, are you ready to look at some really cool tools that barbers use? Let's go. All right, here we are at the barber station. Now the barber station is where the barber keeps all of his tools he needs to cut hair. We have many different clippers here. We have scissors, or they call them shears. We have a water bottle. We have um, aftershave and products and combs. But let's look at the clippers. Now clippers come in many different colors and different sizes, but they mainly are important because they help the barber to cut hair well. So let's look at this clipper. Doesn't it look pretty cool? Let's turn it on and see how it sounds. Wow, that's crazy. What the clipper does is you see up here, there's two blades. One blade right here cuts the hair and the other stays still. But this blade, when you cut it on, it moves really, really, really fast. So fast that when the hair goes through this blade's comb, it cuts it. So check it out. We're gonna turn it on by using this switch right here. It's moving so fast, you can't even tell it's moving so fast. Also on the clipper, there's a lever that you can move up and down, up and down. And what this does is it switches how long or how short you want this blade to be, which determines how much hair you want to cut, the length of hair you want to cut. So cool. Let's listen to the other clippers. Look at this one. This is a black clipper. And here's the on and off switch right here. Wow. And this lever actually has little notches in it and you can hear it click when you move it. Isn't that cool? But all these clippers are for cutting hair. And this is a small one called a trimmer. And you use this to kind of line up around the haircut to make it look super nice. Let's hear this one. Wow. See, the blade is moving so fast you can hardly see it. Now, let's play a little game. Can you tell me the clipper that is pink? That's right, this clipper is the pink clipper. Very good. Another cool thing about clippers is that you can use guards on them to change the length of hair you wanna cut. This is what a guard looks like. Can you tell me what color it is? That's right, this is a blue guard and it's a number three guard. All guards have numbers on them to let you know how long you want the hair to be cut or how short you want the hair to be cut. And it goes on the clipper like this. 
and then you can cut hair. Isn't that so cool? Now for doing kids cuts, I actually have this type of guard that has a monster truck on it. So when you put it on the clipper, it looks like a monster truck is going up the side of your head. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? Now let's look at something else a barber uses to cut hair. And that is these shears or scissors. Now these scissors are very, very nice and only need to be used to cut hair. They're not like the scissors that you have at home that you cut paper with. And you don't need to use those scissors to try to cut hair, especially not your own hair. Always talk to mommy and daddy before you use any type of scissors. But don't cut your hair because if you cut your hair, it would not look good. But these scissors are super sharp. They are super sharp. So I have to be careful when I'm using them to cut hair, but that's how they cut. There's also another type of shear called a blending shear. And look at this, it's got all these teeth and it allows you to not take off as much hair as a regular scissor would. These are called blending shears. Isn't that cool? Another thing a barber uses is a water bottle. And this is how it works. You push this aside and then you just pull on this trigger and water will come out. Look. Ah! <laughs> I'm just kidding. But this is used to wet the hair when the barber needs the hair to be wet to cut with the shears. Isn't that neat? A barber uses this device to dry people's hair. It's called a blow dryer. And they can be used to style people's hair or to just dry it if it's wet. But look at this. It's got these buttons on it. And when you press this button, it turns it on. You hear it? And it has air blowing out of it. And it's hot air to dry the hair good. But you can also blow cold air out of it if you press this button. Ah, oh, nice and refreshing. Another thing that's really important for a barber to have is a mirror. So the people that they're cutting can see their haircut. Look. Hello. Hey, it's me again, Mr. Barberman. And this is a barber chair. It's a super nice chair that does some really cool stuff. Let me show you. So the barber chair is super nice and it can allow for clients to recline or sit up straight and it also goes up and down. Let me show you. So with this lever right here, you can make the back of the chair lay down. Let's take a look. Whoa! Wow, I can lay all the way back. It also has a foot pump to allow the chair to go up and down. Let's look. This is the foot pump right here. And when you keep pressing it down over and over, it'll make the chair go up. But if you just hold it down for a little while, it'll make the chair go down. This is called hydraulics. Let's try it out. chair went up. Now let's hold down on it. The chair goes down. Thank you guys for joining me today. I had so much fun teaching you about the tools barbers use and how they work. Now, as I told you at the beginning of the video, we're going to see if you know how to spell barber. Do you remember? All right, see if you can spell it. I'll give you the first letter, B. Very good, B-A-R-B-E-R. -E and that's how you spell barber. Now I hope to see you next time as we look at more of the barber shop and maybe some actual haircuts. So be sure mommy and daddy are subscribed to this channel and they turn the notifications on so they can see when I post my next video. 
And until next time, this is Mr. Barberman. Bye.